Hello there people, this is my update. I'm going to talk about dispersed camping today and how we've been going about finding dispersed land. Uh, on that Compendium site, it gives you the coordinates for different places. So we're following the coordinates right now. And we're coming up to this road here. We're going to turn right onto this road. And it's going to take us down a ways to um, another road. One of the tricks to the... Um, Campendium site is to read the reviews and we, I was lucky that we did this time because what happened was uh, there's two I guess there's two roads one goes off to the right one goes off to the left off of this road that we're on and if you take the left one you get into a situation where the roads are very narrow and it's basically just meant for like cars or vans or tents uh, but if you turn to the right you get an area where you can fit you know, trailers and RVs and stuff like that. So it was good that I was able to read that. So anyway, we decided to try this out just to see if we could find these places by using the um, by using the app, right? So it, it worked out really well for us. Um, we were able to find things and look around at stuff. Um, in the meantime, we're both doing good down here. We're actually down in a place past Tucson right now. This dispersed camping area that we're looking at, that we're coming up to now, is actually in between um, Phoenix and Tucson. It was about two-thirds of the way to Tucson in Arizona. So, um, like I said, we, we, we were pretty lucky with this. We were able to get in here. Um, they have a signage as you come in. Um, all BLM land has this signage which is great because it basically reassures you that you are not on somebody's private property, which nobody wants. Um, so basically you see the sign under the tree there and, um, yeah, you just basically go in, you find a spot and, uh, go from there. Um, so they've got some rules, a 14 day camping limit. Um, it's a uh, public land. So you basically have to, um, you can stay for 14 days. You've got to move, uh, or stay in the long-term visit visitors area after that. Um, they say pack it in, pack it out, which basically means, you know, don't leave garbage, don't, um, you know, basically our viewers are begging people, please leave the land as good or better than you found it. Like, it should look like nothing has touched this land, um, other than your tire tracks, I guess. But, um, yeah, so we were able to find this place. The This Campendium site has uh, information on... Uh, sites all over North America. Now, unfortunately, they are tied into the BLM land Bureau of Land Management down here in the States, which is great, but they're not tied into the Canadian land use. Um, so, unfortunately, at this point, it will give you campgrounds and things like that in Canada, but it will not give you public land use yet. So you have to go onto those public land sites separately. I know it sounds complicated, but it's actually, it's not. Now that I found this site, uh, what we're doing is we come back north. We're hoping to uh, head to New Mexico. Uh, yeah, we're heading to New Mexico in three or four days. From there, we're heading north. And I'm going to try to find more sites like this as we go. And that's it.